Today's move marks the fifth consecutive rate hike from the Bank of Canada since it began lifting rates from rock bottom back in March. While we haven't seen a broad break in inflation, some pressure is easing. If you filled up over the long weekend, you may have noticed some of the lowest gas prices all summer, and the housing market is no longer red hot. But economists point out overall inflation is still at multi-decade highs, and the cost of borrowing is climbing too. It's a hard place to be, and it's going to continue to be this way until inflation gets back down to a more reasonable level. Households may feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place financially as the central bank grapples with inflation. This interest rate hike has an immediate impact on variable rate debt, which was popular among homeowners during the pandemic. Here's how the 75 basis point hike impacts a typical five-year variable rate mortgage on a home priced at $630,000. Monthly payments would increase by $236. For households feeling financially stretched already, it's a lot all at once. It takes up to two years for the effect of interest rates to trickle through the economy. Economist Pedro Antunes says the fact that we're seeing some relief already is promising. I think they're probably uh, going to have their fingers crossed, hoping for inflation numbers to come down. And I think if that's the case, that will allow the Bank of Canada to take a little bit of a breather going forward. But other factors, including the war in Ukraine, increases the risk of a recession in Europe as the continent grapples with soaring energy costs and colder weather on the horizon. Financial pain abroad can bring us down too. There are signs that inflation has already started to peak, and some experts are looking at what's going on in the Canadian economy and suggesting that the Bank of Canada may hold steady at its next interest rate announcement on October 26th. The Bank of Canada is tasked with cooling inflation, cooling the economy, and not triggering a potentially damaging recession. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.